Hi, I'm Debbie Katz. I'm a certified clinical hypnotherapist here in the San Francisco Bay Area. I have a master's degree in social work. In 1996, I was trained and got certified as a clinical hypnotherapist. And now, I'm going to help you to understand the simplicity of hypnosis. Basically what happens is um, the conscious mind gets quiet and the subconscious mind opens up. So let's give you a quick lesson in um, the conscious and the subconscious mind. We have two parts of our brain and the subconscious mind is 90% of that brain and the conscious mind is 10%. The conscious mind is also known as the critical conscious mind and it's what chatters at us all day. And so what we do with hypnosis is we quiet that conscious mind and there's a number of different ways to do that but through scripts, a soft voice, music, basically relaxation which is what hypnosis is. And the subconscious mind which is 90% of our brain is opening up and so that suggestions can be um, utilized or um, therapy, um, analytical therapy can be, can be utilized um, in, for uh, hypnotherapy. There, when we're hypnotized, there are actual physical changes in the body. The heart rate slows because remember it's deep state of relaxation. So the heart rate slows, the, um, the blood pressure can um, be reduced, the muscles relax. Um, any pain that exists will um, be reduced when we relax the body. Um, blood flow to the kidneys increases. And many other things, many other things occur also when we're in hypnosis, mentally and emotionally. And so there's so many changes um, that we can reduce stress and um, level of anxiety just by being in hypnosis, that deep state of relaxation. And I'm going to demystify the whole idea of hypnosis with you to show that you are in hypnosis every day of your life, at least twice a day. So here, just as um, an example, are some brain waves, and this is what our brains look like, and through medical technology, we can now look inside the brain. And so when we're um, in a waking state, and we're talking, and we're learning, and going about our daily life, our brain wave looks like this. It's going really quickly. It's the beta state. Then when we sit down, listen to some quiet music, perhaps read a book, it slows down. It goes into the alpha state, as you can see, the brain wave is slower. Then when we get into bed and start to drift off to sleep, we go through the theta state, and this is hypnosis right here. So every night on the way to sleep, you are going through hypnosis. You are actually in hypnosis before you fall asleep. And then you fall asleep, and that's the delta state where the brainwave is very slow. And then in the morning, if you don't have to wake up to an alarm clock, you feel like you're starting to come back, you begin to have some awareness. Again, you're going back through hypnosis, and then on to the waking state. So as far as what happens when someone is hypnotized, basically the brain waves are slowing down. That's really what's happening. When the brain waves slow down, the body relaxes, the um, conscious mind gets quiet, the subconscious mind opens up, and that's all that happens.